For the 11th year in a row, Mosey has hosted our Meet the Hispanic Scientist Day. We hosted over 1,300 students here on site at Mosey to meet our Hispanic Scientist of the Year, Dr. Christian Samper. It had all the trappings of a rock concert. Large crowds, kids clamoring for t-shirts, and an energetic audience. So how many for Puerto Rico? <laughs> but in this case, the headliner was a scientist, not a rock star. Dr. Christian Samper, please give a warm Dr. Christian Samper is the 2011 National Hispanic Scientist of the Year. It's an honor that he has achieved partly due to his willingness to travel in the name of scientific discovery. I'm, I've had a new, an unusual career trajectory, having grown up in Colombia, actually I was born in Costa Rica, spent my early childhood in Chile, grew up in Colombia, came to the U.S. to study, so in some ways I grew up all over the Americas. And it's, it's hard quite often for people not necessarily to realize that science is a really good career path. And I've been incredibly fortunate to have this, to study biology, uh, to come to the United States for graduate school, to go back to Colombia, I lived in Panama, many, many places. And I never thought I would end up back in Washington at the National Museum of Natural History. But it's been a great, great privilege. On this day, Sam Pereira spoke to several school kids about the power of curiosity. He says it's an important trait for scientists to possess. I've always defined a scientist as someone that's always asking questions about the things around them. And every kid, I have a five and a half year old daughter, and that's what she does all day. Um, I'm 46, and I still ask those questions every day, so I guess I never grew up completely. And hopefully showing these kids that you can do this, and that regardless of your background, you can actually go into science, you can have fun doing it, and you can actually make a living and get to go to really cool places. Jeanette Ramos, a senior at Leonard High School in Ruskin, took Dr. Samper's message to heart. I enjoy the fact that he uh, shares many of the values that I share. I love biology, I love science. He easily comes to me, and although I'm not going to follow on to his uh, exactly footsteps, I really enjoy the fact that he's gonna, he works at Washington, D.C., and one day I hope to work there, too. Andrea Macias, an alumni of Mosey's Youth Enriched by Science program, believes that many of the Latino students in the audience view Dr. Samper as a tangible link to their dreams. When he tells us, you know, his story, we just really realize that we could be that person, you know, at some point in our life. And he actually gives you, gave us a lot of um, courage to go on with our lives and science and how science could relate to you. and. It's very important in your daily life. At Mosey, this is Adrian Drew reporting for Spotlight Tampa.